It started as a way of identifying friendly aircraft during World War I. Pilots would paint art on the nose of the plane, but this tradition has somewhat faded within the U.S. military. So today, MacDill Air Force Base took a small step to change that. And Fox 13's Jennifer Holton has the story. Well, it's an art form that is as old as the airplanes themselves. The U.S. Air Force's history is filled with examples of airmen thumbing their nose at authority by painting the noses of their aircraft with designs that reminded them of their hometowns and their sweethearts, and it was a way to nickname themselves to their enemies. Today, the 6th Maintenance Group with MacDill Air Force Base joined that tradition by unveiling a one-of-a-kind nose art decal on their KC-135. Officials say it's a tribute to the important heritage that the base has with the city of Tampa and the surrounding communities. And yes, you will see this flying in the skies above Tampa Bay. Second Lieutenant Kate Randall, who sketched the design, said it took about a year and a half to get this approved. We came up with some preliminary designs. We had all of our maintenance group, which is like 600 people all vote on which design they wanted best. Senior McKenzie and I, we had a couple ideas that we played around with. Um, I came up with a few sketches and then I took pictures of them, shot them out to the group and everybody voted on them. Now this nose art is a decal. It's a little different from the past when it was literally painted by pilots or the maintainers. Second Lieutenant Randall says that this really was a way to say thank you to the community of Tampa Bay and they hope to get t-shirts printed with the emblem on it. Reporting from McDill Air Force Base, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News.